This video is sponsored by Shortform. In the heart of the Renaissance period, there was a man whose brilliance knew no bounds. A man whose name has become synonymous with creativity and ingenuity, Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci was not just an artist, but a polymath. A man who excelled in many fields, including painting, sculpture, architecture, engineering, anatomy, music, and literature. He was a true Renaissance man, a visionary whose contributions to art and science have continued to inspire and amaze people for centuries. From his world-renowned paintings, such as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, to his inventions that were way ahead of their time, like the flying machine and the parachute, Leonardo da Vinci's legacy is one of endless curiosity and innovation. In this video, we will discover the mindset, techniques and strategies that allowed him to rise to legendary status. By employing some of the same methods, our own work can benefit from the ingenuity of one of history's most forward thinkers. Get curious. Part of the ingenuity of Leonardo da Vinci can be attributed to his insatiable curiosity. He was deeply fascinated by the world around him and from an early age cultivated an obsession with truth and beauty. 16th century Italian artist and writer Vasari describes young Leonardo as a student. His profound and relentless questioning raised continuous doubts and difficulties for the master who taught him. Da Vinci's notebooks describe how his curiosity led him to develop a love affair with nature. Entranced by its intricate systems, variety of life forms and scenes of grandeur, his thirst for knowledge grew greater still. Psychologist Sigmund Freud said he transmuted his passion into inquisitiveness. The maestro's intense curiosity drove him to study things meticulously. Refusing to merely know something on a surface level, he would work until he acquired a deep understanding. When attempting to depict the human body, he would dissect parts of the anatomy from at least three different angles. Each new perspective gave him further insight. This allowed Leonardo to draw the human form with stunning accuracy, capturing details that elevated his work to a masterful level. For da Vinci, his quest for truth and beauty was a labor of love. It was his passion and life's purpose. In order to replicate the same level of curiosity, we need to be connected with our own passion and calling. Naturally, we are going to be more curious about something that excites us. Those who are passionate about their work are compelled to seek out the best teachers, methods and strategies that will help bring them to the top. To start employing a da Vinci-like level of inquisitiveness, we should study our passion from multiple angles, gather information from numerous sources, consult with different teachers, stay on top of new developments, and acquire feedback from people of various backgrounds. Like the maestro, refuse to be satisfied with only a surface level understanding. Allow your curiosity to push you further and discover things that will take your work to even greater heights. A great tool to start exercising your curiosity is this video sponsor, Shortform. Shortform is a platform containing hundreds of super-powered summaries of some of the most popular non-fiction books. It's ideal for diving into those titles you've always wanted to read but haven't gotten round to. Their one-page summaries are high quality and detailed, going beyond just providing a condensed version of the book. They add commentary and analysis for a deeper understanding and written exercises to help you take action on what you have learned. They also provide you longer, more in-depth guides which take you through each chapter. To get started, we recommend their summary of Cal Newport's Deep Work. Deep Work is focused, high-intensity work sustained for a long period of time that enables you to enter a state of flow. These are your most difficult tasks, but also the most rewarding and ones that will propel your career forward. The author advises carving out time in your weekly routine where you can perform deep work without distraction. Eventually, it will become second nature, hardwiring itself into your brain. There's a broad selection of summaries to choose from, including topics like self-improvement, productivity, and philosophy, and they're constantly growing. Shortform 
drops new book summaries and articles every week that subscribers get to vote on. To get five days of free unlimited access and an additional 20% discount on the annual subscription, join Shortform through our special link, shortform.com slash redfrostmotivation, or click the link in the description. Journal like Da Vinci. Along with his beloved paintings, Leonardo left behind a vast collection of his notes. We have over 7,000 pages, and scholars believe this is only half of the total. They range from observations, philosophical musings and jokes, to entire treatises on botany and scientific theory. They also contain sketches, technical drawings, and plans for inventions that would be realized hundreds of years after his death. Translators have had a difficult time deciphering the notes due to the unruly manner in which they were taken. He would jump to different subjects on the same page, repeat himself numerous times, and add seemingly unrelated sketches and doodles. His journaling was wild and free-flowing, a non-judgmental expression of thought and observation. Surprisingly, da Vinci had a limited formal education, which gave him a chip on his shoulder. He was proud of being self-taught, stating that his true master was experience. This attitude allowed him to become the icon that we know today, refusing to be bound by old and rigid ways of doing things. His notebooks are yet another example of his rebellious spirit. Like Leonardo, take your notebook everywhere and write in it regularly. Jot down observations, ideas, questions, insights and theories, anything that evokes intrigue. Make no judgment of what you put on the page. Don't be afraid of mistakes and pay little regard to organization. Let it flow and like the maestro, add sketches and symbols to help stimulate your creative mind. For da Vinci, note-taking wasn't just about recording information, but an exercise in freedom of thought. Whenever you're facing a creative block, go back to your journal. You'll be surprised at how much inspiration it can provide. Absurd and unusual associations often lead to creative breakthroughs. Retreat into nature. As a boy, the charming Tuscan scenery set a backdrop for much of Leonardo's childhood. With its sweeping vistas and floral-scented forests, no one could blame him for forming such a close connection to nature. Later, he would express his appreciation by being the first Western artist to make a landscape the main subject of his painting. Da Vinci's relationship with the outdoors was more than just a romance. It became a source of inspiration. He used it to help him with a number of designs and inventions, including a grandiose spiral staircase inspired by the twisted conch shells he would collect on the Italian shoreline. Whenever he became stuck, he would retreat into nature. I roamed the countryside, searching for the answers to things I did not understand. Leonardo stressed to his students the importance of taking regular breaks from their paintings. It is also a very good plan every now and then to go away and have a little relaxation. For when you come back to the work, your judgment will be surer. It's safe to assume that the maestro would have viewed a stroll through the countryside as a perfect form of relaxation. So, whenever you're facing a creative block, go for a walk in nature. Pay attention to the sights, sounds and smells. Get inspired by the magnificent creations and life forms that surround you. Treat these walks as a meditative practice, allowing nature to soothe you and draw you into the present moment. This will create the perfect conditions in the mind for creativity to flourish.